Hi, welcome to DoctorSecrets.com. I'm DR, and today we're going to talk about Bell's palsy. This is an interesting uh, phenomenon because a lot of people are very scared when it happens to them, but it actually has a pretty good uh, prognosis and outcome in general. Um, the the name, the Bell's palsy, the Bell component of the name has nothing to do with anything medical in terminology. It's just that the first physician that um, described it was uh, named Dr. Bell. And the palsy component of the term basically explains that there's a neurological deficit or paresis or, or a paralysis of a nerve function. Um, typically the cases I've seen, the individual was fine one day and they wake up the next morning and find one half of their face, they can't move it, it's frozen, you may feel numb, um, and it's drooping. So they're usually petrified that they've just suffered with a stroke. But this has absolutely nothing to in common with a stroke. It's actually not a, of central origin, it's, it's nothing to do with the, the central brain. It's actually a, a problem of the nerve that supplies the muscles of your face called the facial nerve, where it comes out of its exits in the bony skull you might want to consider it kind of like um, when you lap your leg or cross your leg for a long period of time and then you uncross it how the, the leg feels numb and tingly and so forth it's a similar process the is um, proposed that what's happening is that where the facial nerve exits in the skull for some reason um, just prior to the event occurring there's swelling inside that canal which traps the nerve in its um, as it passes through there pinching it and the good news is that it's typically self-limiting. Uh, uh, roughly 85% of cases are much, much better in three weeks. Uh, maybe about 15% of cases up to six months. And uh, it's very, very, very unusual for it to last a year or longer or to be left with any uh, permanent deficits. So again, it's not a stroke. It's just localized to one half of the face. There's no other uh, limbs affected or other neurological deficits. But people are usually petrified when it occurs that they've just had a, a major stroke. Good news is it has nothing in common with stroke. Um, other things you should know about the Bell's palsy is um, in terms of treatment, um, if given within the first 72 hours, or in other words, within the first three days of noticing the symptoms, um, we use corticosteroids, which have nothing to do with performance enhancement uh, steroids. These are anti-inflammatory family of uh, steroids called corticosteroids, like prednisolone or prednisone. Cortico, blah, blah, blah. And um, what that does is, because they're anti-inflammatories, the, the aperture where the nerve is coming through, um, the anti-inflammatory effect, reduces the swelling, opening back up the aperture so the nerve can pass through the facial nerve without being pinched. So that helps to resolve the symptoms quickly. So obviously if you notice, most people um, have their head head on straight. When something like this, this, this obviously abnormal occurs, they usually do go to the emergency department or to see their GP. So most cases will get treated within those uh, 72 hours. But I have seen a few cases where the person assumed it was just going to go away and left it for a week or so. And those tend to have a, a worse outcome because they, they don't get treated early, so it gets more trench. So sometimes they will suffer with the symptoms for um, uh, many months afterwards. And the, the symptoms you're looking for, as I said before, you get facial drooping. So if you see here on this lady, she's trying to smile, but she's only able to smile on one half of her face. The other half here, which would be her right side or my left side so this would actually be her right hand side so the right side of her face here the the mouth is unable to form a smile the other thing is um, as she smells you see that there's an increase um, what do you call it uh, lines in her face uh, whereas on this side there's none the face looks flat because it's, it's drooping she's unable to move the muscles and uh, same thing in the forehead on this side she's able to form wrinkles and stuff on this side, she's unable to. And um, one problem uh, within the first couple of weeks because of this is the facial nerve is also used for blinking and um, closing the eyelid. So sometimes they, they may get problems with excoriations of the corneas when they're sleeping at night because they're unable to close their eyelid properly. So one of the, in addition to the corticosteroids, we also typically will, will give them uh, some kind of natural tears and a, a patch to place on at night. 
as the as the sensation and strength of the um, phase returns, then um, you can dispense with that. So again, it's very scary if if it occurs to you, but it's actually not that much to worry about. But try to get in to see uh, some kind of uh, uh, medical cure within the first 72 hours so that you can get it um, resolved as quickly as possible. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, Bell's Palsy in a nutshell. Uh, thank you for watching and stay well.